Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called I Want to Pursue the Main Side Character. And this is a visual novel about pursuing the main side character, I believe. So let's start the game. Oh no! I lost my handkerchief! I mean... That's terrible! Wasn't that your favorite silk one? Yes. And it was so expensive. I might have to wait a while to get a new one. Excuse me? It- Miss Clermont? Does this handkerchief belong to you? No! Huh? But I heard you explicitly say- You can keep it! Please, have it! I don't want it anymore! Look! This handkerchief, it's- it's yours, so j just take it. Eek! Oh. Oh no, we upset her! Please, don't bully us. We're sorry. We'll never bother you again. Let's go. I watched the two fleeing figure figures. I can't believe we ran into Miss Clermont. She's as mean looking as they say. At least we didn't do anything in, like talk to his highness. So I heard she saw, she saw one girl who had accidentally touched his highness shoulder. And she had to quit school because her family was forced to move out of the country. How cruel! Of course. What else should I expect? I mean, I didn't really expect a thank you or anything, but I also didn't enjoy how they reacted when I tried to hand back her item. But what else could I do? Well, ever since I could remember, people seemed to think Whenever I approach them, that I plan to harm them or something. I wasn't sure if it was because I was taller than the average woman, or because my eyes looked mean and sharp, or because my hairstyle, which I have tried to straighten, was reminiscent of an antagonist from a novel. Even my own name, Beatrice, seemed to add on an image of me of a spiteful person. I don't know what my parents were thinking when they named me that. Not like I could ask them, though, as I wasn't particu particularly close with them, either, which made me a very lonely child. Thus, I did my best to try and make friends with other children, yet any time I tried to approach another child, they would end up crying or wetting their pants from seeing my sharp eyes. They're as sharp as knives, these eyes are. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Thus, I was never able to make friends ever since I was a child, even though I truly tried, resulting in my somewhat awkward personality. Tired of it all, I had thought that if I, if, uh, if I was going to be treated as a mean-spirited bully no matter what I did, might as well just play the part. I quickly became known as Beatrice, the jealous fiancé of the prince, who would tyrannize taran anyone who approached them. Though, if I were truthful, I don't care much for my fiancé. And Edvard, my fiancé, never bothered to take any interest in me, me either. I already have a fiancé, I don't even like him. Am I getting married off or something? But I still put up, up the act that I was possessive of him, merely for appearance's sake. Additionally, I did nothing like force a girl and her family to move like those two, girl, two girls said. That girl moved because her father's new, new business was located in a rural era, area of our empire. What I mostly did to people was intimidate them a little, or just stare at them with these sharp eyes of mine. Sharp as knives. <laughs> However, that was enough for or the student body, as they had begun to spread rumors of my cruelty. Thus, I never had to do much to make people afraid of me. And so, for a good amount of my schooling, I was the infamous Beatrice Clermont. Until... Beatrice! And right on cue. This is Lily Abbott. My only friend is as sad as it is to say. 
Lily is basically the opposite of me. She's well known am among the student body for being the low class transfer student who seemed to be ensnared to ensnare the hearts of several well known male students, including a, a Grand Knight's son, the Prime Minister's son, and even an illegitimate. A illegitimate son of a duke, but he's kind of known for to be flirtatious. Yet she never seemed interested in any of them, and despite them always approaching her, she spent her time instead. She spent her time instead. Beatrice, there you are. I was looking for you so we could have lunch together. With me? That the hideous Beatrix. Clermont? Hm. You didn't have to seek me out. I'm sure I would have gone back to the cafeteria at some point. There I go again, unable to speak my feelings and saying, instead of saying sorry or even a thank you, I just speak harsh words only. One of the results from my lack of social communication. True, but I wanted to see you as soon as possible. There she go, oh, saying such embarrassing words again. While I am unable to speak about my feelings, Lily seems to have no filter. Besides, the lunch is just some weird European life food again, so it's not like I'm excited to eat it or anything. I mean, doesn't this world have some normal food? Would love to have a burger again. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing. By the way, what's with the handkerchief? Oh, this belonged to some student. I was trying to return it, and I didn't read the rest of that. Can I go back? Back. Oh, it just says but. Dang. I was trying to return it, but... Seeing her face, she probably guessed what happened. Want me to go to... Oh, cast a curse on them? Lily! Don't even joke about that! You know the uses of usage of dark magic is forbidden by the royal family. I don't know. Probably should be forbidden by anybody. If you're caught, you could face execution or worse. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. I wasn't that serious anyway. Why does magic even exist here, then, if we can't even use it if we want to? Anyway, why not keep that handkerchief, then? She didn't take it, and she had the chance, so it's finders keepers now. I'd rather not. She said and this was important to her, and she might regret not taking it, so... You're so sweet, Beatrice. What? Sweet? What is this rubbish you call me sweet? Oh, man. You don't know me at all, Lily. How about we go take it to the lost and found before we grab our lunch? The girl might grab it from there later. I, I suppose, yeah, that would be the right course of action. What time error are we in? Let's go then. Wait, don't rush me! I'll rush you any day, Beatrice. And so, we both return the handkerchief to the lost and found. Despite how I may act, I am truly grateful for having Lily as a friend, as she seems to make up for some of the deficiencies I have. She would get me upset. She would get up upset at me if I said that aloud, though. Lily would constantly tell me to not bring myself down, while also showering me in praise and compliments as you saw earlier. I do not know how she it can always can always find a kind thing to say about me, as I never saw these traits in myself before. Yet still, rather than seeing me as detestable as the other students do, she is the only one and who doesn't see me that way. Rather, she seems to see me as lovable? I'm not sure how someone such as me was lucky enough to have a friend like her, but ever since we did become friends, she has stuck to my side and seemed to be the only person who could tolerate me. I'm harsh, mean-looking, and antisocial. 
And she's so small and cute and sweet and overly sincere. Oh, or overall sincere, not overly. Anyway, would anyone would wonder how two drastically different people, such as us, became friends, correct? No, opposites attract all the time, okay? Well, it started around the beginning of the, stu the school year, when I was still putting on my little persona. Oh, another backstory. Great. Two backstories back to back. That's how I like my backstories. Back to back to back. All the backstories. Back to back to back to back. <laughs> you there, commoner! Hmm? Me? Who else would I be talking to? Does anyone else here reek of the scent of labor? The other students laugh at this. Lily at the time was a new student to the ac academy. Furthermore, she is the only student to come to come from a lower class. She was accepted due to the fact that she has been adopted by a baron recently and now attends the academy, which is filled with other wealthy and upper class students. Despite me being the only one confronting her, I was not the only student who found her presence irksome. So seeing me belittle the tiny girl was a treat for most of the student body. Yet, who knew that at that little confrontation led to... Wait, that hair, those eyes, that pose. Are you Beatrice X. Clermont? I... Uh, yeah, I am. Oh my god, it's really you! Oh, Lily likes her. You... know of me? Of course I do! I played the routine in Magical Academy Love Life. I played every route in Magical Academy Love Life in order just to even catch a glimpses of you. What? Is this another game that this is tied over from? I even have all your official merchandise. Well, I did, I mean. Till that stupid truck hit me. Magical Academia merchandise truck? But wow, you're even more beautiful in person. Beautiful? Yeah. Even more so than your sprite. Oh, but I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lilia Bot. It's nice to meet you. Wait, so I always already got a scent of this, but Lilia Bot seems to be aware that she is in the video game. Maybe she somehow put herself in the video game magically and in pursue of in pursue the main side character. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too. Wait, that's not why I approached you, <laughs> huh? Why did you approach me then? Huh? I saw you and the prince walking together to class. Tell me, uh, as I am the fiancé of the prince, what your relationship with him is. We don't have any relationship. He bumped into me, which made my books, which made me drop my books. Then he made some big deal out of it and told me he would carry them for me to my next class, which I refused. Yet still, even though I kept telling him no thanks, he carried them anyway, making a bigger thing out of it than it was. Honestly, it was kind of troublesome. That event scene always irked me, but more so in real life. What? As if someone as great as the prince would carry some commoner's filthy books to class. I'm not lying. And honestly, I wasn't happy about the whole thing either. So there is definitely another game surrounding this universe, and I'm just like, I don't know where I am. Though, I can't do anything about it now, so is there anything else I can do for you? Fine. Since you asked, I don't want you to ever come near the prince again. Done. Huh? Dunzo. Deal. I agree. I'm never going to approach the prince. Won't even look at him. Hey, I'll be happy if he does the same for me. I... You agree pretty quickly. Of course I agree. If it means that you'll stop being upset with me, I will gladly avoid the prince. I... I see. 
Of course! It's good to hear that you understand your situation, then. Uh, I'm happy to hear that you agree so easily. And I'm happy that you're happy. Huh? I think you look so much more lovely when you're happy, Miss Beatrice. I... You think I am lovely? Your golden flaxen hair, your sky-blue eyes, the elegant way you hold yourself? How can I not think you are lovely? Rather than being approached by the prince, I am much happier being approached by you. Elegant? So how about this? In exchange for never seeing the prince again, I get to see you more often. So if you could, may I please get to know you better by starting off as friends? I be internally grateful if someone as beautiful as you... Okay, fine, just please shut up! So, that's a yes. It's a yes. I'm so happy to hear that. Let's go on a date. Is exactly what happened here. My first friend. Hmm? Say something. N nothing! I, I said nothing. And your ill-bred ears are probably just full of dirt to hear anything. Either way, I look forward to getting to know you better. Uh, likewise. Though, I'm only doing this so you don't have to spend time with the prince. That's fine by me. How about we walk to our next class together? If you would like. Of course, any chance to spend time with you would make me happy. Aww. And thus, that is how we became friends. I still cringe at the way I acted before. Honestly, it was pretty awful. And I would love to say my behavior changed drastically after we became friends, but that would be a lie. Though, thanks to Lily's patience and effort on my part, we have gone to the point in our friendship where I no longer call her a commoner and also stop hurling insults at her. Yet, Lily has never stopped speaking of her admiration of my many features, which I suppose motivated me to try and change a bit so I could meet her expectations. And so I stopped my horrible ways and tried to be the person she saw me as by trying to help others and working harder to make more friends. Though there hasn't been much success, but at least Lily has always been there to comfort me when things never went my way. And so, here we are now. The school lunch is delicious, isn't it, Beatrice? Mmm, yes, it is quite good, I suppose. Even the bread is soft and fluffy. Yes, I do agree. We should feed each other. At uh, what? Uh, is that what they did back then? I think so as well. Wait, wh why would I ever do such a thing? Especially in public. Boo! I tried. Really. Just then, I see that Lily digs into her bag and takes out a textbook. Isn't that textbook for our arcane class? Are you going to study? Uh, yeah, they don't... They didn't really teach magic where I was from. Though that's because magic didn't exist. So I need to study to catch up for, with the rest of you guys. But studying magic in this world is way different than the video game. All I had to do was mash some buttons, but here, I actually have to do reading and stuff. Video game? Ah, never mind, don't worry about it. Let me see. Oh, okay. As Lily, as Lily hands me her textbook, I glance over the material she is studying. This material? We've gone over this weeks ago. She's still on this? At this rate, she might not catch up for the upcoming test. Let me help you study. Are you sure? I don't want you to waste your lunchtime helping me. It was my decision to help you, wasn't it? Are you questioning it? Ah, no. Good. Then let's start reviewing together. Besides, we are friends. We should help each other out. Aw, I think five years were added to my life. What did you say? Um, nothing whatsoever. Right. Well, let's go over these spells right here. You'll need for next week's test. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're doing the pauses. 
Whoa, I can't believe I was able to catch up that fast. You're so smart, Beatrix. I'm, I'm not that smart. I merely studied, that's all. The benefits of having only one friend, most of my free time was spent studying. But I am glad that I was some assistance to you. More than some, it sounds like. You were more than just some existence. Hey, that's what I said. I really appreciate it, Beatrice. I'm so grateful to have you as a friend. You grateful? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I mean, she has to tolerate me. Yeah, I mean, uh, when I first came here, most of the other students ignored me since I was, wasn't a noble blood like them. Only you would reply to me whenever I talked with you. If I didn't have you, I would probably have no one else to sit down and eat lunch with like this, or help me with studying. That's why I am so appreciative of the fact that we are friends. Emotional moment activates. I want to cry. It was as if she read my heart and spoke it aloud, yet it wasn't my heart that she was reading aloud, but hers. I never knew someone could feel such joy at finding out that the feelings they had been too scared to share were actually reciprocated. Yet it is unfair that only she has the courage to be honest. I want that courage. I want to tell her how I truly feel. I... Hmm? I am glad we are friends, too. Holy crap, why can't audio recordings exist in this world yet? What? It's nothing. I, uh, I think my heart just stopped for a moment. What? Are you okay? Are you sick? <laughs> Here. Let me check your temperature. Do you possibly have a fever? But Beatrix's soft hand is touching my face. I can die happy now. Don't die. Please, Lily. You must live! If you die, then I won't have any friends anymore. Because I was so worried about Lily, I didn't realize how close we were. Ooh! We're gonna get some romance? I don't know for how long, but we stared into each other's eyes. I never realized how round and bright Lily's eyes were. Or how silky her hair was. Not to mention how soft-looking her skin is. Suddenly, I felt a sudden warmth and fluttery feeling in my stomach. Whenever I was with Lily, I was always happy, as her mere presence made me feel comfortable and pleasant. Yet the feelings I am facing now, as I stare into her eyes, is new, and something I've never felt before. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Okay, what is this feeling? It's love, my friend. What is going on here? Broken from my trance, I look over to see the source of the voice. Oh, it's the prince. And I see my fiancé, the prince, Edvard. Your highness. Oh no, Edvard might think I was having an affair or something. He might get upset Lily and punish her. Ah, I... I have to clear the air so I don't get upset, and more importantly, protect Lily. I asked what was going on here. Your Highness it is not what you think. It is my fault, Lily. Your fault? Of course. I should have expected nothing less. What? I can see what you were doing. I am not blind. Your Highness, I am so sorry, but please do not punish Lily. Punish her? Why would I punish a student? You were tormenting. Huh? You were bullying this poor transfer student, weren't you? No! I wasn't! We were... Lady Clermont. I have tolerated your unruly behavior for a while now, but I will not stand for you to harm the new transfer student, who obviously cannot defend themselves. This is unbecoming, even for you. It wasn't... As if I were, if I wasn't used to people thinking of me in such a way, and I didn't expect any less from my fiance, who never once tried to get to know me. Our engagement was decided on by our parents, so there was no love between us. 
So I am not surprised that his perception about me align with the rest of the student body, even though I have been trying so hard to change it. At one point, I did hope that maybe at least the man and the, I would spend the rest of my life with was someone who could truly understand me, see me, but all hopes were dashed when I realized that Edvard's only interest was in prosperity of the kingdom, and he couldn't care any less about me. Maybe that's why I acted out before, upset that there was no one in the world I could rely on, I could be myself with, who would see the real me. But this time it was different. This time I had someone who was on my side. I had Lily, yet that's not true. I just thought things were different, but nothing has changed. All I've ever, all I'll ever be seen is as cruel, horrible, villainous. You're wrong! Ha ha! Huh? She wasn't bullying me. She was helping me earlier with my studies, actually. Miss Lily, you don't even have to make up lies for her. I'm not. And I would appreciate it if you stopped talking shit about her. Uh, sh shit? Also, who are you to talk, talk about unbecoming? Your route is usually just of you looking down on others just because you're a prince. Not to mention, you're pushy, bossy, never listen to others, and just plain rude. I like his eyes in this situation. This is really funny. <clears throat> Since for some reason, guys with sadistic dominant personalities what are supposed to be appealing, though, I don't see the charm. In addition, in your bad ending, you lock up the heroine in a cage like some creep after she is almost forced to leave the academy. Really? What sane person would do that? What? I would never! Beatrice, on the other hand, is the most warm-hearted person I know. She always tries to help. I don't like how, like, the music is just, like, changing up all over the place. Like, it's going all over the place, like... One minute's like intense music, and then it's like some carefree music. I'm, just, I don't know. I just, I, 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 I don't like it. <laughs> she always tries to help, likes returning people's things or cleaning up the classroom for the teachers. She never ignores me, unlike the other students, and always responds to me. She's patient when she teaches me, even though I mess up and get confused. She gives me her dessert from lunch, even though I secretly know she loves sweets a lot. Additionally, because I don't have much money, she bought me three sets of a new uniform and also my textbooks, which she said were hand-me-downs, but were obviously new. How did you know that? Beatrice is the most gentle and selfless person I know, so I don't want to hear someone like you talk shit about her, especially from someone who didn't even place in the top three for the character popularity poll. Character popularity poll? Come on, Beatrice. Let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Edvard, you are an asshole. Not even top three? Aw, Ed. <laughs> oh, I like this scenery. I don't think I've ever seen Edvard look so stricken. Lily, Beatrice, please break your engagement with the prince. What? I admit, the prince may be handsome and stuff, but he's still a yandere. <laughs> and I don't like how he talks bad about you. I want you to be happy with someone who treats you the way you deserve to be treated. Lily, Beatrix, I, I love you. I love the way you sometimes seem harsh, but are actually very sensitive to what others say and act. I love how you try to seem you don't care, but actually care a lot. I love how secretly kind you are, and how you're so smart and hardworking. I love your deep blue eyes. And your long hair, that reminds me of the sun. Even your graceful figure always leaves me speechless. I won't ask you to return my feelings, but I just want to let you know, owe oh, them. To be honest, I would be happy being friends with you the rest of my life, if, if that's what you wanted. No, 
I don't want that. If you also would like some space, then I would understand. I don't want that either. Uh, then what do you want? It was obvious what I wanted. Since I met Lily, I never spent any moment alone. I no longer dreaded going to every class where I would have no one to talk to. I no longer ate my lunch quietly in a large courtyard by my lonesome self. I no longer studied silently to fill the free time I had from not having anyone to spend with. And that's because of Lily. Because of Lily, I changed. I stopped being that hurtful and mean person I used to be before. Because of Lily, I no longer waited quietly for class to begin because she would spend time with me before the teacher came in. Because of Lily, my lunch time was no longer quiet but filled with laughter and chatter. Because of Lily, my once dull and monotonous life was bright and wonderful. All those times I spent with Lily were the happiest moments of my life. I never want a life without Lily by my side. So the obvious answer was, I want to be with you. <laughs> Lily, I am in love with you. You do? It, it took me a while to realize it, but the fact that I always want to be by your side, how being with you makes me feel both comfortable yet nervous. And how everything you do always brings a smile to my face. In summary, Lily, I bought. I'm in love with you. Woohoo! Yes! Woo! <laughs> you, you don't need to be so loud. I can't help it. I'm so happy. Does that make us lovers then? Well, I suppose, but I have to break up my engagement, and there's this whole thing about that, you know. That's fine. I'll wait. I'll wait forever for you. Same. Beatrix, I promise you that I'll do my absolute best to make you happy. You don't really have to- Nuh-uh! Just you watch Beatrix Clermont, I'll make you the happiest woman in the world. Then, I guess I can't stop you. Nope! You can't! Like you can't stop me from doing this. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to carry you like this. I, uh, put me down the system! <laughs> How are you even doing this? Video game logic? Dumb. I am taller than you and heavier. I just cast it that strength spell you caught me earlier. <laughs> ah, I forgot I taught you that earlier. I need that strength spell in my life. Alright, when I'm throwing disc and shot put, I need that. Can you give me that too? <laughs> Besides, you're telling me you don't enjoy this a little bit, Beatrix? I mean, you read those cheesy romance novels at the time, and I know oh, they do this in them. You knew about that? <laughs> now that I recall, you knew a lot of embarrassing things about me earlier as well. So maybe I shouldn't be surprised. It's nice to have someone who knows you so well. And I, I skipped that. Hold on, go back, go back. It's just, huh, why do I go back for, like, the simplest things? Well, I suppose it's better than being misunderstood. Glad to hear, because I won't stop trying to learn more about you. Because every new thing I learn about you makes me fall for you even more. Sheesh. Only someone like you could be so shameless to say something like that. Though, I suppose that's what made me fall for you. I didn't, I didn't quite hear that. Can you say it again for me, please, while I uh, record you so I have evidence? You! Fine, I'll say it once more. Fine. So, make sure to listen this time. If this was a novel... Such a happy ending would never be possible for someone like me. But I guess that's why I suppose I should be glad that this, that this isn't a novel. Well, I got news for you. This is not just any novel. It's a visual novel. <laughs> this is all real. Just as, pure, as the pure joy I am feeling. I love you, Lily. 
I love you too, Beatrix. Thank you. Thank you to whoever allowed Lily to enter my life. It was probably whoever made this uh, visual novel that you're in. I know that from now on, the both of us will make each other very happy. So, thank you for listening to my prayers and... Oh, we got misspelling right here. Brennan is bringing <laughs> Brennan me Lily. I'll make sure to spend the right... The right? I'll make sure to spend the right of rest, maybe? The rest of my life? Bringing her as much joy as she brought me. I'm sure they meant the rest. If they meant the right, I don't know what that means. I promise. Wow. I suppose this would be a confession scene, hmm? Around this point, the game would end. But I'm grateful it doesn't end here. Moreover, since I'm actually in the game, I don't have to worry about any PG-13 aim plus rating any longer. <laughs> what are you talking about, dear? Oh, nothing, my love. Oh, we're already starting with these names? We literally just got together, you know? I forgot to mention. Lily sometimes mentions weird things in places I've never heard of, such as Japan or a Tomy game, among other things. Or hamburgers. That's strange. I never heard of that before. I'm not sure where she learned such words or what those things are. But maybe I'll ask her in the future and find out. The end. Oh, that was it. Okay. That's I want to pursue the main psych character, which I guess, I suppose, is um, based off of another visual novel with some a drama, I guess. I don't know. There was, it wasn't a really, it was just a visual novel, there was really no, like, choices, no gameplay and all that kind of stuff, you just kind of end up with the, uh, with the mean side character like you want. Really quickly, too. It was all very fast-paced. But, you know, it's okay. I guess the, uh, her, Lily, Lily said what she needed to say to her favorite characters, and, uh, that's the whole point. And she fell in love with the mean side character. And that's the point, too. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.